This resource is for our liturgical interpreters. It is the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, If only you would heed the voice of the Lord your God and keep his commandments and statutes that are written in this book of the law. When you return to the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. For this command that I enjoin on you today is not too mysterious and remote for you. It is not up in the sky that you should say, who will go up in the sky and get it for us and tell us of it that we are to carry it out. Nor is it across the sea that you should say, who will cross the sea and get it for us and tell us of it that we may carry it out? No. It is something that is very near to you, already in your mouths and in your hearts. You have it to carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your kindness, answer me. With your constant help, answer me, O Lord. For great is your kindness, and in your great mercy, turn toward me. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Turn to the Lord in your need and you will live. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. The descendants of his servants shall inherit it, and those who love his name shall inhabit it. Turn to the Lord in your need, and you will live. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created 
through him and for him. He is before all things. And in him alone hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be permanent. For in, in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross. Through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your being, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victims to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped him and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the road. But when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place. And when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight and he approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal and took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instructions to take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which one of these three, in your opinion, was the neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 